4.4 number 49, we are going to calculate the limit when x is approaching 1, x over x minus 1, minus 1 over ln x. This is a slightly tricky question, but we will follow our strategy. First, plugging 1 into all the x. For the first part, I will end up with 1 over 1 minus 1, which is 0. So 1 over 0, we end up with infinity. Let me bring down the minus. And if you plug in 1 to ln x right here, you get 1 over ln 1. ln 1 is equal to 0. So here we have 1 over 0, which is also infinity. So this is also in determinant form, infinity minus infinity. This means that we have to do more work. And in order for us to use L'Hopital's rule, remember, L'Hopital's rule is only good for 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. That's the only two situations that we can use for um, L'Hopital's rule. Right? So the hint is, notice that this is just one fraction, 0 over 0, or this is also a fraction, uh, infinity over infinity. But here we have two fractions. We might well try to combine these two fractions so that maybe we'll have a chance to use L'Hopital's rule. In order for us to combine two fractions, we first need to have the same denominator. Here is x minus 1, and here is ln x. We have to just pretty much put them together. For this part, I will need to multiply by ln x, and I'll do, the, do that on the top as well. And then for this part, I will need to multiply by x minus 1. I will do that on the top as well, just like this. And with that, we are going to continue. This is going to be the limit when x is approaching to 1. We are just going to have one fraction, and the denominator is just going to be x minus 1 times ln x. And then for the first part, I will get x ln x minus, well, minus 1 times um, x minus 1, so I have to distribute this inside like this. So negative 1 times x is minus x. Negative 1 times negative 1, we get plus 1. So this is what we have at the moment. And now, once again, we are going to check plugging 1 to all the x to see what we get. Plugging 1 to here, I get 1. ln 1. ln 1 is 0, so this part is 0. Minus 1 plus 1. So 0 minus 1 plus 1, it's again 0 on the top. And on the bottom, you see that if you plug in 1 here, 1 minus 1 is 0, and ln x is, ln 1 is also 0. So in this case, we got 0 over 0, and now we can look at this expression and use L'Hopital's rule. Right? So, we are just going to go ahead and then differentiate the top and differentiate the denominator. Now let's see what we get. This is still the limit when x is approaches to 1. On the first part, this is x times ln x. So I have to use the product rule. The derivative of um, x times ln x is going to be, you keep the first function, times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over x, plus the second function, which is ln x, times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is 1, so you multiply by 1. Minus derivative of negative x is going to be just negative 1, right? Derivative of negative x is negative 1. And then derivative of 1 is equal to 0. So this is it on the top. And on the bottom, once again here we have x minus 1 times ln x. I have to use the product rule. Let's do it. I will get x minus 1, you keep it, the first function, you keep the first function, times derivative of the second, which is 1 over x, and then you add the second function, which is ln x, times the derivative first. Derivative of x minus 1 is just 1. So this is what we have. And now, let's take a look if there's anything that we can clean up. On the top, I see the x times 1 over x. This is just equal to 1. Plus, this is ln x times 1, which is just ln x. And then I still have the minus 1 right here. And notice that this 1 and this minus 1 can be cancelled. So on the top, I just have ln x. And now, on the denominator, I have x minus 1 times 1 over x. 
let us distribute this right into the parentheses. 1 over x times x is 1. 1 over x times negative 1 is minus 1 over x. Plus ln x times 1 is just ln x. And this is what we get at the moment. And now let's see if there's anything else that we can do. But I need more space. So here we are going to have the limit when x is approaching to 1. On the top is just ln x. And on the bottom we have 1 minus 1 over x plus ln x like this. And now once again, let us try to plug in 1 into the x to see what we get. If we do that, 1 into here, ln 1 is 0. And then 1 into here, you get 1 minus 1 which is 0 plus ln 1 is also 0. So this is Again, a 0 over 0 situation, so we have to use Laputer's rule again. Well, it's okay. Let's differentiate the top and differentiate the bottom. And let's see what do we get. Let me just do it right here. We still have the limit when x is approaching to 1. On the top, I just have 1 over x because the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. Alright, on the bottom, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of negative 1 over x is going to be positive 1 over x squared. Um, to do that, you can check this out. This is the same as this is the same as x to the negative 1 power. So negative 1 times this negative 1 is positive. And you subtract 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. x to the negative 2 becomes 1 over x squared. Alright, that's the derivative for negative 1 over x. And then you still have plus the derivative of ln x, which is plus 1 over x, like this. All right, I think we're almost done. <laughs> Plugging 1 to here, so um, we will get 1 on the top, right? 1 over 1, which is 1. Over, if you plug in 1 in here, you get 1 over 1 squared, which is 1 plus 1 over 1, which is 1. Altogether, it's 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 1 half. 